Hello guys! Today we have a simple, quick, but functional and cute DIY, inspired by an old video of mine that I have on my personal channel on how to make magnetic bookmarks. Those ones were just square, so now I'll show you how to make them with shapes. I will also leave the link in the description so you can watch that video as well. Alright, let's get started. Starting with an image you like, I'm using this one of Harley Quinn I found on Google Images, but you can use your own illustration. If you use copyrighted images, make sure to use them for personal use only and not for profit, as you can get in trouble for that. You need to work with a PNG image, meaning it shouldn't have a background. If your image has a background, you can delete it using the magic wand and pressing delete on your keyboard. Once you have your image without the background, you need to expand your working area, as we need room for the modifications we're about to make. Using the cropper tool, I expand the edges of the drawing until I have a wider canvas to work on. After this, you're going to create another layer. Once you have it, select the marquee tool, press command on your keyboard, and move your cursor on top of the layer with the image. You'll notice it will turn like this. The label will generate a selection like this. Select the paint bucket tool and color in the section with any color you like on the second layer you create it. After doing that, move that layer underneath. With the layer that is still selected, go to filter, other, minimum. This will expand the image on the bottom to give an edge to your image, so it'll be easy to cut at the end. Make the edge as thick or as thin as you like. Mine look like this. Next, using the ruler feature, I move them around the drawing like this to give me an idea of the size it is. Using the rectangle tool, make a rectangle the size of the image, like this. After it's done, modify it to make it smaller to fit in the middle of your image. Once you thin it out, out, move it to the middle and place it on top of your image but underneath that layer. This will be the back of your bookmark once it's finished. After you have your bookmark ready, merge the layers together and we're done. If you want to have an image on the back as well, it's really simple. All you have to do is repeat the previous steps until the outline. Once you have the image, duplicate your layer, left click it and flip it vertically. Move the copy to the top, leaving a gap in between the two pictures, making sure that they are aligned properly. After that, use a rectangle tool and fill in the gap. And finally, merge the layers together. It should look something like this. Now open an A4 size file I left you in the description and start arranging your images into the file. Use the transformation tool by clicking Ctrl T or Command T depending on your computer and resize to your liking. In this case you can see the measurements on the side. I always guide myself with the width of the image. Once you have them arranged all the ones that you can fit on a sheet, I would recommend you to color the background a different light color to make cutting the images a lot easier. After you have arranged all of them, print your images out. You can either print them on computer paper or cardstock paper. Once your pages are printed, it is time to turn them into our magnetic bookmarks. Firstly, I printed mine on cardstock paper because I could and it makes things a lot easier. However, if you can print on cardstock, follow these steps. Get some cardstock. If you don't have cardstock, you could recycle some cereal boxes, mine is a cornstarch box but it still works, and your sheet of paper. With some glue, I'm using spray adhesive but you can use a glue stick. Glue the paper onto your cardstock or recycle box and smooth it as much as you can and you get a similar result. Once you have your images on cardstock, we're going to cover them with clear contact paper. This is not necessary, but it will make your bookmarks last longer. Cut a piece of contact paper a little bit bigger than your sheet of paper with the images. Peel the end of the contact paper from the backing and stick it onto your image. Make sure to smooth it as much as you can as you go. Once you finish, cut the excess off. Once you have your image ready, you can start cutting them out. I always use a mix of an exacto knife, my tiny scissors, my cutting at and a ruler. Once you have your pieces cut, we need to fold them in the middle. To do so, use a scoring tool. I'm using the dental tool I repurpose for crafting, but you can use a dull pen or an empty pen. Instead of folding it from the front, we'll do it on the back. Decide where you want to fold, and then with your ruler and the scoring tool, score a line and then fold by hand. And it should look something like this, very professional looking if you ask me. All that there is left to do is to glue two pieces of magnets that attract each other on the inside. You can either use magnetic tape that is thin or sheets of magnets like this one. They're a bit thick but they still work fine. I use some tacky glue to place them in place. Even though the magnetic tape does have adhesive, it tends to weaken with time so I just rather glue it instead. I put a heavy book on top of my bookmark until they're dry and once they're dry they look like this and we're done. What do you guys think? I honestly love them. They're so cute and easy to make and they make great gifts. They're also amazing to add to your independent store if you have one.
that was it for this video guys i hope you like it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and if you are thank you so much you can go follow me on my social medias at crafter training and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye, -bye. bye, -bye.